Today we're going to learn how to draw a VW bus from the front. This was a request from my dear sweet friend Noah. So Noah, I hope that you like it. All right, so today the supplies you're going to need are your sketchbook or any kind of paper. You're going to need an eraser and a pencil. I usually draw in pen so you can see it better, but this drawing we're going to need to draw some items and then erase them. So I'm making sure that I have a pencil and eraser that I'll be drawing with. The colors that I'm using are black, gray, and red. You can choose whatever color you want. Red is going to be the color of my bus. But if you want to choose your bus to be a different color, you can make it whatever color you'd like. I'm using markers. Uh, you can use markers if you'd like, or colored pencils, or crayons, or paints, or whatever works. Just know that sometimes when you use markers or, dis or different supplies, they bleed through. So I have my scratch piece of paper underneath my sketchbook. If you're working on a table or any other, other surface, make sure you put down some sort of protection. So put down another big piece of paper or maybe even a tablecloth. All right, so before we start drawing with our pencil, we're gonna use our favorite tool, our finger. And we're gonna map out the shape. Now, since we're doing the front of the bus, we're just gonna be looking at the very front and we're gonna break it into basic shapes to make this easier. So we're gonna start with a square, but I'm gonna to need to have room on the top and room on the bottom to do extra parts. So I know my square is gonna be kind of be in the middle. And it's not exactly a square that we're starting with. It's like a little bit of a rectangle, but more square. So let's just say square. So let's just kind of map out the shape of our square in the middle of our paper. And now that we know where we're going, we're going to do a basic square. So this square is going to have rounded edges. So I'm gonna give my bottom here. Okay, and I'm leaving room down here. I'm definitely gonna leave room up there. I could probably get a little closer on the edges if I want. Okay, and now here I'm gonna curve it. And I'm gonna curve it. Excellent. And now I'm just gonna go up to make my curved square. Let's do it about that high. So like I said, if it was a real square, it'd probably end, well, a little bit smaller. So just a little higher than a regular square. Curve your edge, curve your edge, and connect. Excellent. So we've started with a curved edge square. Wonderful. So now we're going to build the parts step by step, all the basic parts of the VW bus. So let's go to the top first. This curves, let's go to this corner. I want you to do a diagonal up a little bit. And same thing here, a diagonal up. So buses have kind of that rounded top, right? So from there, you're gonna give yourself a little rainbow to connect. This little angle helps it feel a little bit more machine-like, because it is built by man. All right, so we have our top of our bus. Great, let's go down to the bottom. This is the base, but we need to add our bumper. So on this side, let's just go up a little and go up a little. Wonderful. And then you do a little curve at the top, a little curve at the top. We don't want these to be pointy, they're curved. Great, and now here, the bottom of your bumper is probably right about there, and you just connect it. You smile up, and you smile it up. Cool, we've got the bumper. All right, if this is the edge of our car, we need to go inside of it, and we're going to do a curved, Square. Here's the edge of our car. We go inside of it a little bit and we do a curved square. So those are going to be our tires. Great. All right, let's keep going. So here, from where our tires are, we are going to go next to them, not on top of here. It's going to kind of float. So we're going to do a little floating in there and a little floating U there. Wonderful. And you're gonna go up, past that line, up, past that line, up, past the line, up, past the line, a little rainbow on top, a little rainbow on top. So our first thing that we're gonna erase, this line here, because this new shape that we just made goes in front of that line. So you wanna take the time erasing it. Now my eraser is big, so it erased some of my lines on the side. It's not a problem. I just draw them back. The main thing is to show that there's no line there. Okay, great. So now we're gonna do the second little detail line. 
So right here at this corner, I want you to do diagonal up and diagonal up. This corner, diagonal up and diagonal up. We're gonna do a line that goes straight across and stops, straight across and stops, straight across and hits there. Now, it doesn't hit exactly correctly there, but that's not a problem, because I can always just erase. It's more important for it to be a straight line than for them to connect. We don't want a diagonal. There we go. This top one, same thing. Across and stop, across and stop, across and stop. Good job. Okay, last thing in this little area, hanging from here to here, going over this line, but not touching these, you're gonna do a little rectangle. And I'm kind of curving it. And then you'll erase the line in the middle. Now it's gonna be our license plate. I'm doing a personalized license plate because this bus belongs to Noah. Okay, all right, let's keep moving on. So here we've got our little edge and our little edge. So you see where this little edge is? We are going to draw a line up all the way to there. And same thing there. This is a very light line. It's just a little bit of a contour line to show the edge to there. Great. So we have the edges on that side. Good job. Okay. So we're going to do the windows because the windows on the bus are kind of big. We want to make sure we have room for those. So if this is the halfway mark of our bus, the windows are not exactly in the middle. They're just a little bit up. So if this is the middle, we want to imagine our windows are just a little bit above it. So you can kind of give yourself an idea. They're going to be a little bit above that middle line. And you're going to give yourself a straight line to start to show where those windows are going to be. Great. And you're going to erase right in the middle a teeny bit. So this is going to be the bottom of the window. And now we're going to do the top. Okay? So here we go. This is actually going to end up being the top of our window, which is going to be pretty helpful. So we're gonna have this come and we're gonna have it curve. And here it's gonna curve. And it's gonna come here and curve and come here and curve. So we don't want it to touch this line. And there's some extras there, which is fine. It curves and curves and then it's straight. It curves and curves and then it goes straight. And then you can erase these little lines on the side so it looks like they're kind of floating. So now you have the two windows. Below, give it a little line and a little line. Excellent. All right, in the middle of those, do a little circle and a little circle. Great. A little line that goes up at a slight angle. A bigger line that goes up at an angle. A little line over. Another line at an angle that goes about halfway. And those are going to be our windshield wipers. Excellent. All right, it's coming together. So now let's do some lines on the side. So here, where this corner is, you're going to go a little angle and a little angle and another little line on top. Just to add one more little detail line in there. So on the side of our bus, we have, do a little line on either side there. So we have this little triangle and it comes down into the shape. So right where this line is, this first line of your window, do a little line there. So the shapes that we have that we're working with is this is kind of a triangle. This is going to be a rectangle. We're gonna add a little square. And then this side just goes down. Don't worry about this inside line. Great, okay. So now where the square is, you're going to do a diagonal and it's gonna kinda of go over this line a little bit. So start here and kinda of go over it and just have it hang out the side a little bit. Same thing on this side. Diagonal that goes up and it just kinda of hangs over the side a little bit. You're going to do a rounded rectangle or square, a rounded rectangle or square, and extend that line into that. Those are gonna be your little windows the little rear view windows. Okay, so now let's see where we go next. So from this corner of this square we made to the center of 
this line. So if the O is in the center, you can put a little dot for the center, you'll erase it. You don't want it to exactly touch the center. We need a little bit of room. But you're gonna go from this side, you're gonna angle down, you're gonna have it go on the one side of that middle dot. Same thing here. Comes and angles down, it goes on one side of that middle dot. Perfect. Now do it again. It can come from this side, and here you want it to kind of go straight and then curve in. Straight and then it curves in. Perfect. Now you have the iconic lines of our VW bus. Let's get our window, or I'm sorry, our lights going. So a big headlight here and a big headlight here. Little headlight here, little headlight here. Let's give it an outline inside, an outline inside, inside, inside. We have our four lights. I think the only thing we're missing is the VW sign. So here we wanna get as close as we can in this area. It's kind of right in the center, almost like if it was a face and it ended up being a nose. So let's try our best to do a circle in this area. See, I'm drawing lightly and I'm kind of breaking it up. Just gently work to get a circle shape. It's easier to draw it in a few sketchy lines than one continuous. Okay, I think this might need to curve a little. All right, now the VW sign. So here's the middle. You're going to do a V. Great. You're gonna come on this side and go down, up to the middle, down, and up. Now you have your V, W sign. All right, I think we're ready for color. Let's try it out. We're gonna begin with the gray and start to work the gray in. So, the gray is going to start up here on this triangle and this triangle. This rectangle, and this rectangle. This back of the window, this back of, oh, I'm sorry, mirror, this back of the mirror. Excellent. We're gonna leave that little white spot, just for extra. We're going to outline our rainbow line that comes down, and outline our rainbow line that comes down, and those become gray. I like to outline the area that I'm going to color in. It helps me remember where I'm going, and then I don't have to be as precious when I'm coloring because I know where I'm going. Okay, our windows are actually gonna be this gray. So we can bring the gray in for our windows. You can go over that windshield wiper if your gray is not too dark. We're gonna outline it later. Okay, and then this one. Inside of each light, circle, 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 circle. All right, I think that's good. Let's move on to our red. So I decided that my VW bus is going to be red. You can do whatever color you'd like, but let's map out where it's gonna go. It's gonna go inside of this shape, stop, around, around, over, and down. So it fills in that area. Same thing on this side. Down, over, straight, around, over, curve. I need to also be careful of my lights, so I might outline those. And outline this one to make sure that I don't color it in. And this one. All right. The other part, which is important, is this part. So you're not going to get that little railing. You're just getting these shapes on either side. Okay, I think we can color it in. And you can be using any material you'd like. You can have a pink bus, a yellow bus, rainbow bus. Make sure you have these curves that come down and that VW in the middle. 
Okay, my marker. Taking my time coloring it in. If I go too fast, you can always pause it. If I go too slow, you can always speed it up. All right, make sure you get all these little areas in. Excellent. Okay, let's see if there's any other place that we need red. We do, on our VW sign. So, you can kind of extend it now. So you can do the on either side. There's your V, you're making it a little bit bigger. Inside of your W, outside of your W, inside of your outside, inside, outside. Excellent. And then you could do this little circle. We'll bring in some black also, but let's get the red in there. Okay, great. I think we're ready for some black. All right. So you want to make sure that we see all of these shapes. So you're not just outlining it and making it curve. These are kind of rectangles. You wanna make sure we see that. You wanna see that it curves in and curves down into this rectangle. You wanna see that little square. And you wanna see the line of the bus that comes down. Great. This line on top, you can make it a little curved, we did. So if it didn't curve enough, you can do that with that. See this line in the middle? That gets erased also, if we didn't already do that. I forgot to do that. Curve your window, curve the bottom, curve your window, curve. This little line below, circle in the middle. Curve your edge down, curve your edge, curve your edge, curve your edge. This little line, middle. Little line up, little line up. Diagonal over, diagonal over. Little one in, little one in, up halfway, up halfway. Great. All right, let's continue. Half a rainbow down, half a rainbow down. Half a rainbow down, half a rainbow down. Around and around, around and around. Now, my tip is quite small. Make sure you have a small tip for these areas. You can get a sharpie if you want or hold your pen up very lightly. You just want to try to keep some light around the edges. Okay, let's do this line. Line up and over, line up and over, your little rounded rectangle, your little rounded rectangle. We're going to do the V, we're going to do the W. We'll do a little light line around, kind of broken, so it's just a little bit of outlining. Great. Diagonal, 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 diagonal. Straight and stop, straight and stop. Straight and stop, straight and stop. All the way across and stop, all the way across. Rounded top, rounded top, rounded bottom, rounded bottom. Connect straight lines. License plate, rounded rectangle. You write whatever you want on your license plate. No. Edge that comes out, edge that comes out. Curved top, curved top. A little rainbow with a flat bottom for our bumper. Top line is the same. Stop, 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 stop. Our wheels curve and our wheels curve and those get filled in black. And I think that might be it. All right, I hope you like it, Noah.